You know, the Bible says we must study to show ourselves approved unto God as a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth to all my fellow seven day Adventists worldwide. On Facebook recently, um, there's been a uh, book dealing with the issue of jewelry that has caused question and confusion because we as seven day Adventists believe in the Bible. As the Bible says in the book of 1 Timothy chapter 2, just one scripture just for this video, that we are to adorn ourselves in modest apparel with shamefacedness and sobriety. Um, nobody debates on whether or not we should uh, dress modestly. In a world where debauchery and immodesty in dress is rife, God has called us as his people, especially as us as Seventh-day Adventists, to come to a higher standard. But brothers and sisters, the second part of the verse is where the, this subject is all about. The Bible says that we're not to adorn ourselves with certain things. And one of the things that the scripture says in verse 9 that we're not to adorn ourselves is the wearing of gold. And other scriptures confirm that in 1 Peter chapter 3 about the wearing of gold. It's saying the same thing in essence. And so based on that scripture, we as seven day Adventists believe in the Bible that we are not to adorn ourselves with jewelry. And when we say jewelry, we talk about jewelry for ornamentational purposes such as earrings, nose rings, tongue rings, and other forms of jewelry that, that are prohibited by scripture. Now what happens is this right here. Without getting into all the details of the book, the book presented another perspective, which gave the impression, which gives the impression that it's okay um, um, to wear jewelry and that the scriptures that you thought were saying you shouldn't do it really are not saying that. But brothers and sisters, what I want you to do is look at the link here posted with this video, which gives a balanced perspective from the Old Testament and the New Testament, which will address the allegorical figurative language of which jewelry was put in a so-called positive light, and you'll find out what that means and what it's saying and what it's not saying. Couple verses with what Paul and Peter said, which plainly um, prohibit the wearing of jewelry. And as you know, we're saved completely by the grace of God. We're not saved by anything that we can do. We must put on Christ. If one thing we must put on is Christ, and one thing we must take off is the old man. And by putting on the new man, which is created in Christ, after true holiness and godliness, anything that the Spirit of God points out in his word that he does not want us to do, we will lovingly do. All because of Jesus. Why? Because Jesus paid it all. All to him I owe. Sin have left the crimson stain. And he has washed me white as snow. I mean, because of his love for me in the cross, I'm willing and you should be willing to give up anything that the spirit of God tells us to leave alone. And also in this clip here, not just so much the clip, but also on the link here posted with this video, it talks about the historical um, background of wedding rings and finger rings. And you need to really read that chapter because it's very powerful. It gives uh, credence to the notion of why God would not want his children to wear jewelry today. Just like with tattoo wearing, Levit Leviticus 19.28 plainly says not to wear tattoos. He doesn't tell you why. He just says not to tattoo yourself. But mankind has done uh, uh, differently on that. But when you do your research and look at the background history to tattoo wearing, as well as the background of the wearing of jewelry, you will find out the, the paganistic, um, satanic connotations with it. And it gives a lot of of clarity. Hey, if I had a tongue ring on, you know, many of you that know what tongue rings are about knows that means something. So we can't just ignore that these things don't mean anything. They do mean something. The Bible says that there's no new thing under the sun. That which was done in the past will be done in the future. And God requires those things that are past. So what you will find out is, is this right here. What we're doing today when it comes to the wearing of jewelry and ornaments, men were doing it years ago and God gave his will concerning that in the word of God. So just press on the link here, study for yourself prayerfully. And if you have any questions, please feel free to inbox me on Facebook and we can give you some more information. I have a plethora of material for those that want to know more on this subject. May God bless you and I'll see you at the top.